Hi, my name is Emanuele Panza and uh, I am an academic researcher at the University of Bologna in Italy. Uh, I studied medical biotechnologies at the University of Bologna. Uh, for my thesis, I worked at the research hospital uh, Giannina Gaslini Institute in uh, Genova, where I had my first approach uh, with the medical genetics field. I then obtained a PhD in human genetics from the University of Torino. And I worked as a postdoc in the United States for eight years in the laboratory of a Nobel Prize laureate, Mario Capecchi, at the University of Utah. During my postdoc, I specialized in mouse genetics. Uh, now I moved back to Italy to join the medical genetics unit at the University of Bologna. Uh, so I always had an interest in genetic disorders and in the understanding of uh, the mechanism causing these diseases. In particular, I've always been fascinated by disease whose causes are unknown. So I work in a, an academic environment and my job involves research and teaching. My work focuses on the study of rare genetic diseases, aiming to identify the genetic cause of these conditions. So uh, about my working day, uh, usually in the morning, I discuss with colleagues and students about uh, projects and strategies. Um, we examine results of experiments and we've, we plan the following steps. Uh, I leave the afternoon for meetings, uh, administrative affairs, and writing. When I um, attended a biotechnology program with a specialization in medical applications, uh, then I obtained a PhD in human genetics, and I choose a postdoctoral research experience in a slightly different subject, um, and this gave me the opportunity to work with the mice as models of uh, genetic disease. Usually a career path in our field is characterized by um, obtaining a PhD and uh, by postdoctoral experiences. And uh, in, indeed, many of my colleagues fo follow a similar career path. Research is uh, peculiar in terms of skills. In fact, in my work, it is particularly important to perform experiments very uh, diligently, trying to be as precise and analytic as possible. Um, this involves uh, data analysis and problem solving skills. At the same time, one has to be creative and imaginative to imagine the next scientific question. It is also uh, important to be able to communicate at the different levels your research, and this in involves very good presentation and writing skills. I believe that my background is uh, suitable for work in academia, um, so in academic environment, and also in pharma uh, companies. Um, in, in companies, there are different options as a pharma representative, product specialist, and also in research and development units, or as a scientific advisor. So in my uh, job, we face uh, several types of challenges. Uh, research funds are crucial and are the bottleneck uh, for the expansion of research activities. On the other hand, looking for the right scientific questions is necessary to contribute to the progress of the medical research. Well, I, I think um, it is of pivotal importance to identify your passion as early as possible and let it guide you through your path. Equally important is, is to find good mentors to accompany you in your journey. Mm -hmm. 
I believe that family and school are essential in fostering um, the passion of young people. Um, teacher and parents should always encourage children in, their, in this search. Um, teachers, as experts in the specific fields, can become mentors and um, they can keep inspiring students even after graduation. <laughs>